what world are we living in right now where these types of decisions are still being made by what is supposed to be the greatest team in the world, the Toronto Maple Leafs? In last night's NHL draft, Maple Leafs had a first-round pick. 15th overall. It was a pick that was gift-wrapped to the team via trade by Penguins general manager Jim Rutherford, who, by the way, apparently doesn't believe in drafting. Every single year, he just throws his draft picks away. And this year, his first rounder was lucky enough to land into the laps of the Toronto Maple Leafs. What a godsend, because the team did not have a first-round pick heading into the draft. And what does the team decide to do? They stay right on brand. They don't fool anybody, and they go with Rodin Amirov, a small, undersized, soft skill winger from Russia in favor of two strapping Canadian defensemen who play physical, uh, skate like the wind, shoot right, and have mean streaks to their game. Are you fucking kidding me? What world are we living in right now where these types of decisions are still being made by what is supposed to be the greatest team in the world, the Toronto Maple Leafs? Okay, w- what I would do to be a fly on the wall in the war room on draft day when Leafs general manager Kyle Dufus looked around at everyone with a straight face and said, you know what, guys? We're the smallest team in the league. We're the softest team in the league. We got no grit. We got no physicality in our game. We're low on defensemen. But you know what? Let's draft with our first round pick a kid that is already extremely similar to everyone we already have in our lineup, which is small, soft skill, undersized. Okay? It just, it doesn't make any sense. I think Kyle Dubas is trolling the team. He's got to be trolling us. Okay? How you could... How you could pass up on a guy like Caden Gurley, who was drafted directly after the Leafs picked by our arch rivals, the Montreal Canadiens, who, by the way, beat us up physically and on the scoreboard last year. They were 4-0 against the Leafs. They had no problem taking this kid right after us. And by the way, the scouting report on Gurley was that he's a Shea Weber type of player. Loves to dish out punishment. Uh, Braden Schneider, drafted by the Rangers just a handful of picks later. This is a good-looking kid from Saskatchewan. Big, burly, skates like the wind. He was a Leaf fan growing up. They, they showed photos of him at the draft as a kid wearing a Leaf jersey. Wasn't good enough for Toronto. Passed up on him for another undersized Russian. It doesn't make any goddamn sense. And I don't know who was watching the actual draft last night. But, you know, Amirov, his highlight pack, it was like eight seconds. Okay, I got pubic hairs that are longer than that. There was no uh, post-draft interview with the kid. Uh, like there was uh, with every other draft pick that went. They did a virtual interview, except for with our pick. Like... Is this kid even real? Or like, they just don't have Wi-Fi where he's living in Russia? Like, I don't understand that. I also have a suspicion that it's possible that the Leafs might have gotten auto-drafted last night. For it again, anyone who's watching, the clock literally ticked down to zero seconds. And then the pick was in. And I, I feel like everyone in the Leafs, you know, draft table, they scrambled. They're like, oh, let's just take that kid that Dubas likes, that, that little pipsqueak from Russia. It doesn't make any sense. I'm not happy about it. But I hope I'm wrong. I really do. Because I would really love to see this team win a Stanley Cup before I die. And Kyle Dubas, you know, he was brought into the team um, because it seems like he knows what he's doing when it comes to drafting. He's had a few good draft picks here and there. Some Leaf fans were excited about the pick. They say he's like a next Pavel Datsuk. Relax, I don't know about that. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it could be a good pick. Again, I hope I'm wrong because I would love to see the Leafs win a Stanley Cup before I die. But I'm not holding my breath.